far as the S&P goes. This is a short week, right? So the open so far is red. Uh, we'll see. Last week we dropped down, hit that zone. Uh, so I am long ES right now. Uh, this actually happened right at the beginning of one of my streams. Went long right there. Decided to keep it, so I am still in my ES contract. Uh, my stop is actually down here uh, below this green wick. I'm going to leave it there. It, it's up. It's fine. If it continues, uh, then we're good. When can I dump my questions? <laughs> uh, let me get right about IWM time. When I'm, when I'm on IWM, start start popping them. Um, let me pull up the expected moves real quick for you guys, just so I can. I'll adjust the charts later for everyone that has that. So right now we have SPY's expected move, 494, QQQ, 605. IWM 296. Now, all of these are smaller, but not that much smaller, which was interesting because we have a whole less day on here, which typically on retail weeks, I call them retail weeks, just I feel like there's just less participation. Um, you see, you can see a whole day missing in the expected moves. This was like half a dollar, a dollar off on those, uh, which tells me I don't know if we're expecting some volatility or if what's going on. Let's actually let's check the news real quick while we're at it. Make sure nothing exciting is happening. Today's the 27th, so we have – this is Thursday. Oh, yeah, right there at the top. Sometimes reading is hard. Uh, okay, so jobless claims, GDP on Thursday, PCE on Friday. Um, all right, so we got some some excitement. We'll see. As far as the NASDAQ goes uh, – okay, so I guess I to be clear, I'm long ES – um, that's, that's that just going to stay there. If that zone breaks, I might be short intraday. That'll be something I tell my group about and probably talk about later on YouTube. Uh, but it had to break that zone for me to be short unless it's outside of some intraday trend. Uh, now in queue, I would do the same thing. If I wasn't in, in queue right now, I would buy it with a stop right below here In a futures account. That's might be a little bit more movement than you guys are used to. Uh, and so here's something that I do if, if, if that's too much, cause I, I like ES, uh, but if let's say that stop is a little bit too wide, I'll actually break down into five MES contracts. So if I, if I'm ever in MES, you'll hear me talk about five, 10, 15 contracts. Uh, and, and I do that for a very specific reason because I keep these as, as hedging. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm going long one and I'm on a different time. Maybe I'm, I'm long the hourly four hour time frame. Uh, but I see 15 minutes, hourly pullback coming up. So I'll switch to the other one. I'll be long ES and I'll be short MES, and it'll be five contracts. I'm typically not at a neutral delta or anything like that. Uh, but that's why instead of going with going from 5, 10, 15 contracts to, as opposed to just going to one. Uh, but same with this. If it was NQ, I'd do MNQ. Um, but that's what that's I'd have to my stop down there for now. And as long as we're on the gain train, I guess I would have to be too. Uh, let's see. Last week we got just outside the expected move, came back, and then closed it just close. Uh, the Russell. Russell went from looking the strongest, and by strongest, at least uh, the more stable. It was like the the stable one in the relationship. ES and NQ were either they were just kind of erratic. It seemed like where this was more of just a, a grind up. It had that meltdown. Uh, unfortunately, right now this push up right here. Is still just inside this. It took significantly more time. This was eight hours. Here's eight hours again. Here's another eight hours. Here's another eight, another eight, another eight, and another eight hours, and we still haven't recovered. Uh, this is a lot of times why shorts just like to go short because that's where all the fear, the panic, the emotions are at. That's where people make stupid decisions, and it happens fast. Um, I'm thinking as long as we are in this range... Let's keep an eye on that range. What's that on the daily? Daily trend technically broken. There's an argument there with that wick, so I'm gonna keep an eye on just that that dump right there on the uh, on the four hour. Breaks that not a wick breaks and closes. That will probably be our signal. Let's see if we don't chop around sideways. I like these because this was I think this was a news event. There was three letters that came out. I forget which one. 
uh, it really irrelevant to, to me, to be honest. Uh, but I know if someone's trading it, same thing as same thing as earnings. There's investors that are invested in, in the things. They don't care what earnings are. They're going to read the earnings report, but they're not buying or selling. They're not doing anything like that. Anybody that's going to be on the transaction side of buying, selling, adding, cutting loose uh, is watching during these news events. So we had all hands on deck during that event, and it sold off this much. We had the buy the dip crowd show up and do as much as they can, uh, and we're here. So I know if all hands are on deck and we did this, I want to know when we get outside of that. Long one NQ, one, long one NQ, short ten MNQ, uh, and get ripped, <laughs> ripped face both ways. Uh, that's 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 there's a term for that's called boxing, and a lot of people used to try it. Right, they would uh, buy TQQQ and SQQQ. They would go long NQ, short MNQ, or you know long and short in different accounts, uh, and they would set a stop on both and see which one pans out. And it's a real easy course to sell people on how you never lose. Uh, but in the real world, that strategy just doesn't work. Uh, your risk to reward have to be so ridiculous. It would be so hard to time that. You might as well just put your eggs in one basket and pick a direction. Because you have to put your stops outside where any possible wicks could happen. You have to manage your risk on one, like as in like as in it's in the green. Uh, it, it, what's likely going to happen is you're going to tag out and then take pennies on the other one or tag out of both. Uh, it is always funny. I do like to I do laugh when people do that. Last week, outside the expected move, we did rein it back in. 